it was really interesting to uh, listen to your story about the history of you participating in the Korean War. Uh, and almost the Silicon Valley history is that of the Draper uh, family's history. So Yeah, it's, uh -huh. it is. It so was early. Could, you, could you mention that a little? Yeah, the, uh, <clears throat> I was uh, lucky enough to come out here in 1959 and joined the very first venture capital company in Silicon Valley before it was called Silicon Valley. It was just a an, uh, an orchard, a series of orchards out in the in the peninsula and in San Francisco there were <clears throat> a few banks and investment banking companies but no venture capital. The word wasn't known out here and the term Silicon Valley wasn't known. But we started uh, the first firm that was, and it, got, and it went on the Stanford campus, and it was encouraged by Stanford, and some money came in, concern about how, um, how to make a, a small business big uh, came up, and we were learning um, as we were going along, and eventually uh, everything began to blossom very Excited, and as I say, Wall Street began to discover the returns were very high, and they poured money in here, and too much money probably for the number of opportunities. But uh, but that's good for entrepreneurs, and so I encourage uh, any Koreans that want to immigrate uh, emigrate into the United States. I encourage them to to come to Silicon Valley because they're. Typically, the Koreans are very entrepreneurial, but I also encourage them to come uh, see how it works and then go back to Korea and start up some venture firms that, uh, that they uh, believe in and, and can uh, benefit the country. I would, I would start up a, a venture capital company in South Korea today if I had the, um, you know, if I were a few years younger. Oh wow! Um, so you just mentioned in the last question, um, uh, empathy, and uh, what I thought is that as a journalist, I need also need to have empathy for the readers to have That's a, exactly uh -huh, right. Yeah, to have, make better um, make it the, readable, interesting, yes, exactly. make it a story that uh -huh. that makes them understand, feel either good or bad, but but at least get into it. Exactly. Uh, rather than pedantically writing, uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, good point. But what if um, um, I feel like and many people kind of lose that empathy? Like they kind of um, be really superficial in their mind. So how do you do it? Or um, what would you say? Like to say? Um, you know, I think empathy is not something that you can teach. I think empathy is something that some people have and some people don't have. And those that don't have it probably will never get it. But if you grew up uh, in a home that uh, encouraged um, you to be thoughtful of other people and concerned about other people, uh, as well as yourself, you're more likely to have that empathy all through your life. Uh, so not too many people, uh, I mean, I don't think you could have a course at Stanford that would teach empathy. Um, I think uh, in, in every country there are many, many empathetic people, and I think they succeed better because of that. I think optimists do better than pessimists. I've often said, if you have the chance to do something, say no, say yes more than you say no. Take a chance. Do something that's a little unknown because rewards come back faster than penalties. And I think uh, optimists do better than pessimists. Economically, in a happiness state, romantically, in every way, I think uh, optimists do better. Mm 
Mm -hmm. What do you think that really drives what you do? Like, what is your, um, where is this coming from that you do in your life? Where does it come from? Like, oh. what's your passion? Good. <clears throat> my, um, my passion when I was your age was to succeed. I wanted to succeed. I wanted to do well at whatever I was doing. And uh, that was working in a steel mill. Uh, it was working as a young venture capitalist. And, um, and today it's the same. I, I want to succeed in being helpful to other people. And so I've started this foundation it's a philanthropy uh, uh, foundation that helps uh, young nonprofit startups, early stage nonprofit start, first three years of their operation. And I want to succeed in building that so that I'm very helpful to other people and it has some impact on the world. So, um, and I just had that right from day one, and I think some of it came from my, uh, my uh, family, and some of it came from a good education at Yale and Harvard, and uh, some of it came from my friends who were also wanting to succeed, and, and so that ambition to be successful in whatever you do, it's a good source of happiness, too because usually you do succeed if you follow that. Mm -hmm. Wow. So uh, maybe lastly, uh, what do you want to say to the entrepreneurs who wants to change the world? I'd say to the entrepreneur who wants to change the world, go for it big time. Don't listen to people who tell you it can't be done. Go forward and just... Uh, be optimistic, and you will get there. Are you also willing to help them on their way? Yeah, well, I have been up to now. I'm. Uh, I think uh, I will uh, uh, be helpful to everybody that I can in whatever way I can. Uh huh. Oh. Oh. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, I have one more question. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry for my poor English. <laughs> I think Eva, your English is very good. Yeah, no. Uh, Eva is now 25 years old, and I'm 26. Yeah. Uh, so do you have any advice to us for life or love? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a personal question. Uh, uh, hey, well, <laughs> it's hard for me to tell you to say yes more than you say no, because. It, but that's really what I mean. You should, but I don't mean that every guy who wants to sleep with you mm -hmm. is somebody you should say yes to. <laughs> so, <laughs> understand that. But romantically, I think you will find, uh, you want to find a, a man who is empathetic, empathetic and he understands other people as opposed to somebody who is defiant and mm -hmm. always thinks he knows the best. So that's the first thing I would be careful about who you marry uh, or who you even get romantically involved with. Uh, I would also suggest that you just keep working hard at what you're doing uh, because that will uh, give you great satisfaction as you look back on your career. I have great satisfaction because I really worked hard at everything I did. And, and did the best I could. And I often think, well, I could have done this if I had gone on that path or this path, but at least the path I went on was a successful path, and I think that should be what I would advise you to, 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 to do, to work hard, uh, be uh, careful about who you uh, get involved with romantically, and uh, I think you... Uh, will do very well in the world because I can look at both of you I know you're going to do well you're both energetic and you're kind and you're you're uh, and you also are working hard I can see it wow thank, thank you so much, much. All right. <laughs> good luck to you good interview.
enjoyed the meeting, both of you. Wow, thank you. Thank you.